boy Shot. Shot vs. A Bite Podcast, man. Episode 90, goddamn six. We got special guests in the building. Uh, rapper, uh, videographer. What's some other stuff I'm missing that you're doing? I know it's like you do a lot of shit. I'm a, oh, I hate talking about myself. No, like I know you're rapping. Y'all know you do videos for um, sure. I'm like a mentor to little girls as well. That's what's up. Okay, so she's a mentor. Um, I'm just a cool kid. That's all. One of the coolest, man. Got uh, Casey Carr in the building. What's good with you? What up, though? How you doing? I'm good, you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm smooth. It's uh, almost Thanksgiving. Trying to find Thanksgiving. a filter. Oh, for your, uh, your live. Yeah. <laughs> Try to make it a little spicy. Yeah, you got to make it look. Because he look. Look at that. Yeah, for sure. It look like I'm having fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, before we get into everything, we always start off every episode with salute me while I'm here. But you can't include the obvious mom, dad. I'm sure you ain't got no kids. So, you know what I'm saying? No kids, no boyfriend, none of that stuff. It got to be people out of that media circle because a lot of times we wait for people to pass away to tell them how much we care about them instead of giving them their flowers while you can still smell them. So, you got anybody, you got anybody in mind that you want to, you know what I'm saying, get those flowers to? Who I want to give my flowers to? Um, Just because they're like a cool person. Yeah, just be a dope, cool, somebody you, you know what I'm saying, you mess with, you know what I'm saying, all that. Um, Give my flowers to... Miss Nicola. She Ms. Nicola. is uh, the founder of Girls Who Brunch Tour, is okay. one of the organizations I work with to mentor the girls that are, I think, 17 and younger. Mm -hmm. That's been going through life, and I feel like she went through her life traumas, and she made it cool to let other people in and let for them sure. know what's going on. So I for love sure. Miss Nicola. For She's sure, the best, sure. and I'll give her flowers now. Now you say that's a, a mentor program that you were part of. Yes, Never? I'm a, a alumni. So okay. I was I was in it for a little minute, and then once I aged out, I started. Did you feel like you benefited from it? Like, cause like I say that because I coach basketball, I coach girls and boys, mm -hmm. and these young girls and they be talking about some wild shit mm -hmm. like in middle school like <laughs> you know what I'm saying things that I can only imagine like when at that age I was dreaming about doing the shit that they doing mm -hmm. <laughs> so like did it, did it uh, help you out as a, as a little one and then second yes, question yes it's so cool like I feel like when you think about it people don't have that same outlet anymore like when, no. you, when you growing up it's like everything supposed to be like stuck mm -hmm. inside but it gives them the platform to express themselves with yeah. other women and girls who've been through the same thing they've been through. for sure what's like your main thing like your yo 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 that you try to express to the to the young ones about like you know growing up what's some a piece of advice like that you give them like hey you should this this the one thing you should follow it's gonna take you a long way you know what i'm saying like what's that one piece of advice you might give every little girl that you think they should hear this um Follow your dreams and mm -hmm. don't let other people knows be your nose. Cause what might not work for them mm -hmm. might work for you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause uh, I'll be, I'm thinking about that junk. Cause my son, he a uh, freshman in high school, so you know, already know like those sex topics gotta come up mm -hmm. and junk like that. Cause you know, shit, everybody doing it now. Like <laughs> ain't no, ain't no age. Like you know, what I'm saying whatever, whatever. So I just be mm -hmm. letting them know, hey, bro, you they can wait. Cause once you get it, it's gonna be like a drug. You are gonna be addicted. Mm -hmm. So you go, you can wait as long as you can. Focus on your basketball. Focus on your school. That like it's cool to talk to girls like girls, but just wait a little bit. You know what I'm saying for that major junk to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. You agree? I do. <laughs> I agree because I am still a virgin at 20 oh, shit, years old. So. Round of a goddamn applause. <laughs> I, hope, I hope my daughter. I get it. <laughs> so it's like I really. I, I'm waiting. So it's yeah. not it's not a rush for yeah. any of the girls listening. It's not. It's, it's not what it's yeah, let's please listen to, to her. And then when my when my daughter get older, please, I'm gonna play this because <laughs> I don't want I'm, I don't want to have to kill you and whoever else y'all. You know what I'm saying? So no, that's what's up though. That's what's up, man. Congratulations to you and shit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now, uh, Thanksgiving coming up. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited. I've been you know what I'm saying just thinking about the food all day. So give me a piece of a dish on Thanksgiving that you must have, and a dish that you be like, man, leave that shit at the crib. They can leave cranberry sauce. I don't know who invented that stuff, but I, I need, <laughs> I need my macaroni. Oh, I should put you off for saying that. Cranberry sauce is of the devil. What, what? is it? No, you load your dressing up with the cranberry sauce. If you're dressing good, you don't need all that no, extra no, stuff. No, no, that's no. Just Hell like, no. Hell that's just no. like, that's just like saying you need ketchup on your meatloaf. Yeah. If the meatloaf good, you could. No, listen, listen. The dressing could be A1 to the... I'm talking about the best dressing you had in your life. Once you put that dressing on top, it take, it's, it's going to take you there. 
It's gonna take you to that whole ne- level that you need to be on. First of all, it looked like something off like a cartoon. Like, come on, no, that look- come on. I'm <laughs> I'm a, I'm- off SpongeBob or Plankton be jumping <laughs> that chunk and then just look and just drop. Like, what is that? I I'm so know. bad. Like, like tomorrow I'm gonna buy my own can of cranberry sauce because when I come to your house, I don't want to share. It. Like, I want to load that motherfucker up so like it's gonna be crazy. Like, my you crazy. That dressing gotta have it. You gotta have it. Like I said, I need that dressing. And that mac and cheese, you can leave the potato salad at the crib. They can leave potato salad too. Yeah, I'm good. They can leave potato salad, with cranberry sauce. Oh, some people take them shit chitterlings. Oh, <laughs> them yeah. things stink so yeah. bad. I'm very disappointed. I don't eat it, never have. I don't eat nothing that stinks. So yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Wait, you guys, the greens. If they stink, then they, that means they're gonna be real good. And collard greens. greens. Yeah, yeah, we need greens too. I can't so macaroni it. and greens. Yeah, that's and then can we said cranberry sauce can stay and. Um, God damn. Potato salad can stay. Oh, devil eggs, they can stay yeah, too. Yeah, for sure, they can definitely stay. I don't even know what the fuck that supposed to be. Like, <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> yeah, but I'm yeah. I thought you was a cool little homie, man. But yeah, this, this cranberry sauce got it. You got and you got to have your own personal one because definitely not. Y'all can keep that. Yeah. For, okay. Whatever. Well, I bring <laughs> I bring you the cranberry sauce. That's yeah, 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 ours, for sure. You can have it. Now you know I, I was of course I was doing my research on you. You know, saying fine little stuff and whatever. And it's crazy because. I was just talking about like how holidays aren't the same without your grandmother around. My, both my grandmas passed away, and I see that you lost your grandma not too long ago. Rest yeah. in peace. So yeah. are holidays like different without you know without her? Um, I really even haven't had a holiday. She passed away too far, so okay. Yeah, the so be holiday like- will just be beginning. But um, mm. my grandma was ninety. Seven ninety eight. Oh, wow. That's what's up. She'll be ninety eight and she was gonna be ninety eight in April. So it's like I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be a little different, but mm. I feel like it's gonna be the same. Yeah. Like I feel like we it's like a spirit thing with me. Like For sure, for I sure. I feel like she's still gonna be there. So Yeah. I'll be a little upset sometimes. It'll be certain foods I'll be missing, like, God damn. Only oh, my grandma, she ain't cook. She was 80 or 90 years old. She just oh, so yeah, she had passed that baton, yeah. yeah she, just, <laughs> she was just there. It wasn't like, oh, yeah. grandma cooking. Oh, but my regular, like, that was my great-grandma. My okay. regular grandma, she stopped cooking, too. She don't know for that. Yeah, yeah, She's she like, pa- I ain't about to cook for all yeah, y'all. Y'all, y'all all cook for y'all own selves. Yeah, yeah, for sure. At the same age, you put in that work. Time to go ahead and retire that goddamn... That, 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 uh, that hot hand and shit. Yeah. <laughs> now, 2021, about to be over with. Mm-hmm. Tell me how how have your year been? Like some ups and downs. You feel like it was some things you you didn't accomplish that you wanted to accomplish. Like how was your year? My year was a little rocky, actually. Because remember when I told you in the beginning yeah, I yeah, went yeah, to yeah. the big house. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> and then I was sitting down for oh yep. Grandma does the um, sweet potato pies. Okay, she okay. brings that dish to every. Uh, that's not, that's a dish for me that you can leave at the crib. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought that for a long time till I Yeah, I, I guess it's the one. right person or something. Gotta but I don't it. like too much of it. Okay. Like, I just, like, the amount of crust <laughs> is the amount of sweet potato I need. Because I <laughs> sweet this much better and this much <laughs> crust. I don't like that. You don't so, want that thick boy, yeah. Yeah, so, um. He's at the big house. Oh. <laughs> I went to there and I just, uh-uh. I don't know. That was the only downer. I was sitting down for 22 days in the house and I couldn't do nothing. Yeah, for sure. So, I started picking up the game. So I started playing uh, the War Zone. Yeah, yeah, Call of Duty. Yeah, so I started playing that and I was cool. Um, the beginning of the year was kind of rocky. At the end of it, I lost my goddad. Okay. And then right after that, I lost my grandma. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, time to do some music. Yeah, for sure. So I just went recording crazy and I mm. shot a couple videos mm. and then I lost my momentum. Then I been chilling. But for the most part, I've been trying to write and get a project together to sure. drop in 2022 oh yeah we definitely gonna we're gonna touch on all that good stuff as far as the music and everything so you say so your year was a little up and down you know saying uh lost a little motivation gained some motivation yeah lost some people rest in peace to them yeah. went to the big house <laughs> was at the crib for 22 days uh, 22 days man hey but I, I guarantee you you probably rather be in the crib for 22 days Instead of that sale for 22 days. So who, who are you telling that? <laughs> but the sale... Okay, the funny thing about the whole Big House story is... <laughs> That's it, funny shit. I was with my friend. Yeah. They kept us together the whole time. So oh, okay. I really... Like, in the whole... I really thought it was a joke. Like, yeah. I was calling my people like, Hey, what we doing? Man. I said, shit, take your ass there. I'm like... Oh my God. That's funny as hell. But yeah. afterwards, it was, it was, it was smooth. Yeah. Um, 
I wouldn't tell nobody to go there or nothing. Oh no, hell no, there ain't no recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it yeah. was it wasn't as bad as people may see. Oh yeah, because yeah. I was in and out. In yeah, and yeah, out. for sure. Yeah, you ain't get that 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 long stay. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, growing up, you know, because we don't like to just deep dive right into um, what you're doing, shit. But tell me how it was growing up. Who was in the crib? Mom and dad. How was you as a little young Casey? Oh. And where you from? I'm I'm quite sure you're gonna say you from the West Side. Definitely from. Yeah, West I know side. West Side. I got West Side eye. Like mm -hmm. I know when the, when the girl from the West. Yeah, from the I'm East. from the West Side of Detroit. Well, not Detroit. I basically grew up in Oak Park. Okay. Went to Oak Park schools. Family originated from Highland Park. Okay. Um, that's still West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, for sure. Woodward is the divider. Yeah, so it was on East and this West. side of Woodward, not that side of Woodward. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That was a conversation we was having before, but no, um, definitely. Once you cross Woodward, that's West. You come yeah, this on way, this side. Yeah, yeah. You come yeah. this way, you're going to the east. Exactly. For sure. You can tell the difference a little bit, too. And um, parents been together for 27 years. I said another round of applause. That's some two, that's two good things 27 right there. 27 years. Yep, 27 years. Yeah. Um, I have an older sister. Her name is Cody. She uh, also does music, and mm. I've been pushing her. So be mm. on the lookout for her. That's she's, what's up. She's an R&B artist. That's what's up. That's what's up. She's really, really pretty mm -hmm. and really, really cool. So <laughs> be on the lookout for her. Yeah. Um, I had a beautiful childhood. Like No complaints? No? No complaints. No nothing. I literally had everything I ever wanted. Mm -hmm. Some people say that I'm a spoiled little brat, but you I'm not be, a brat. Yeah, you might be a little spoiled. It's okay. I might be spoiled. Though. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. And I... Yeah, I had fun. We go sledding, we go skating, we go go kart racing. My daddy had all my cousins over. That's another thing I never did. I never spent the night out. Never. Not really. Why? Because your over parents didn't trust you, like trust the people or something like that. No, it's just like my daddy just always felt like I should have my people over with me, and then I have I have 15 bikes in my garage. All yeah. my cousins come over and we have fun. Mm -hmm. So that's what I always did. I always had company at my house, not outside i go over like my auntie house with my cousins and stuff but friends i never spent the night over friend house for sure so that's kind of weird for me now to be like oh yeah i ain't coming home it's like wait <laughs> i ain't never did this all my yeah, life hell yeah, hell yeah. but yeah that's that's one thing like, I, you think because you said your parents been married for you said 26 years no they've been 20, together they're just i think they're gonna get married next year but they've been together for 27 years now like, you think that's why you like like when we was talking earlier about waiting out because you didn't see your mom and dad with each other for so long you think yeah that's i have a, a high standard I feel like they think I'm like, I don't know, like, I just, I expect a lot. Yeah. But yeah. I can expect a lot. It's me and my body. Yeah. So if you can't, I don't know, like, you should be able to respect my yeah. wishes. Respect that, that, that can be kind of scary at the same time because you, say you wait, you wait, you wait, then you be like, oh, this the right one. And then you release your energy. And <laughs> then, then you be the wrong one. Yeah, like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna take that L. That's my L. That, I'm gonna have that's to take. That's a major L. Like, damn, I wait all this time just to give some no good ass Cleophis and shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's always been the topic I always like talk about with like my cousin. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Then she got... was like, "Well, the first time you do it, you're gonna get pregnant." And I was like, "Oh God, no." <laughs> that's not. That's not hope for that. <laughs> exactly. Because uh, I think yeah, that's what happened to my son, mom. I, I was. Uh, it was her first time, and yeah, she got pregnant. So, <laughs> and 15 years later, we got a little one. So, it, it worked out, though. I mean, we're not together, but it worked out. We still homies in the jungle. Like, ain't no bad blood. Period. So, it's cool. As it should be. Mm -hmm. I mean, as it shouldn't be. No bad blood. Yeah, yeah, no bad blood. No, no, no. We right. cool. That's the homie. I used to hate her, but we cool now. <laughs> hate her for like a good six months, you know what I'm saying? Oh. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. No, not enough for me. But uh, <laughs> you growing up, you said you you uh, was in Oak Park. You went to Oak Park High. Um, no, I went to Ferndale High School. I went to Oak Park all the way up to middle school. Okay, but you went to sports growing up. I saw you on your little vlog. You had like a little decent little jumper. Look like it was. Oh yeah. I saw I the form and shit. I played basketball in middle school. My mama didn't want me to play. Mm. She thought it was a boy sport. And then she came to one of my games, and I made the only point. It was three points on the board at the end of the game. We were running up and down the court for 28 God minutes, damn. and no points was on the board. And I had the only point. And then she was like, "Oh, my daughter can play." So then mm. I started playing. I was in middle school. Yeah, that was in middle school. Mm -hmm. Then I went to high school and I played. But our team was just so sucky. And yeah. then our coaches was even suckier. Mm -hmm. And then I got a scholarship mm -hmm. from my last coach. And I went to a WC3 mm -hmm. scholarship. They paid for it. But once COVID hit, I stopped going that last year. Okay. Okay. So you go hoop a little bit then. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They paid now, why, why, your, uh, why your mom didn't want you to hoop? Because uh, I could just think maybe she'll be like, I don't want my daughter to hoop because most girls that hoop be gay. 
Yeah, that's a boy sport. She yeah. thought I was it was only for boys. Yeah. Then I played volleyball too, mm. and I ran track. Okay. I ran track for middle school and one year of high school. I failed at one of my hurdle <laughs> events. I ain't never played after that. Oh. That was so embarrassing. I was so ready for that. <laughs> I was so ready for that that event because yeah. I like Ferndale rivals is Hazel Park. Okay. But since I've always went to Oak Park schools, my rivals was. Mm. Oak Park. Okay. So I ended up going to the Oak Park game. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump that hurdle for a friend Brush of my face. Mm-hmm. God damn. So embarrassed. Scarred your whole body up and shit. And now I sat the rest of them out. Yeah, so I'm I am i am picturing, you know what I'm saying, grades had to be decent for you to be playing sports and stuff. So how would you as a student? Everything was all good. I love school. I never skipped school. I love school to the fullest. Like I miss high school. Mm. I miss middle school too. Like yeah. I miss all of that. That was a fun that was a fun time. I literally I, I used to be an honor roll student, but then, like, I never got, I never failed a class. Okay. Until I got to college, and this one white man, he hated. Yeah. He failed me. <laughs> no, he failed me because he hated you or because you was in that bullshit? I to, <laughs> no, I didn't bullshit. He was just so particular. He said, don't use the letter, don't use the word I, mm. you. He had a whole root. Like, it was crazy, but yeah. you, I went to the deans and, like, protested against him like I, yeah. I never felt the class and I really hurt my feelings because <laughs> I had A's and B's in college yeah yeah for sure I didn't have nothing less than a B even mm. when the corona hit I, mm. I still did it online even though I hated it yeah yeah I yeah. did it and passed with all good grades yeah. A's and B's and he failed me then it messed up my GPA ooh I ain't even gonna talk about that god damn now uh are we not stay on that growing up on the growing up tip I like to ask this question is it something that you wanted to be that you never like Try like you never pursued whatever, or you never told anyone. For instance, I wanted to uh, learn karate. I wanted to tap dance, play a piano. Those mm-hmm. three things I never told nobody, but in my mind, I wanted to do that shit. I wanted to tap my ass off. So oh. you got anything that like kind of like what the fuck was I thinking about doing that? But you never like really pushed forward to do it. I always wanted to be a nurse because mm-hmm. I'm so good with people mm-hmm. and like, but that's school and stuff, and I hate science, so mm-hmm. I knew I couldn't. I mean, if I put my mind to it, of course I can do it, but it just wasn't for me. But the only thing I could be is I always wanted to be a nurse yeah. or a teacher. I always or, wanted to be a teacher until I found out how much they made. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I can't do that. Like, I yeah. like the mother said, like, I don't know, was it like 34th? I don't know how many thousand it was, yeah, but it they wasn't They don't get hit. enough. They for sure don't get enough, for real. And, and the thing is, I work with kids with autism and other disabilities. Okay. Those... Jobs are full time jobs. Yeah, for sure. Hell and yeah. the the parents of the children realize that when school got out, mm-hmm. and then they start saying y'all need to get paid more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what the special needs kids need to get paid more. Mm. These bad kids is bad. Yeah, yeah, for These, sure, the, yeah. the general education kids is bad. They need oh, no, to get paid more fuck. too. Hell yeah. That's Hell eight yeah. hours out your day that your kids is with somebody else. They really that's really like a babysitting service. So are you still working with uh, special needs kids? Like that's something you still doing currently? No, I have to reapply for mm. my job because okay. of my big house <laughs> situation. But in January, I will be back working. I found the job that I really, really like okay. as, as an ABA therapist. I'll be able to take the same courses with them and mm. get the certificate that I would if I went to school. Mm. So I'm just going to go and take now, work, the certificate. Working with special needs kids, like artistic kids, like was that something that you were like, all right, I'm interested in doing this? Or that was just like you was put in that situation and then... When I was in little school, like preschool, what is that, kindergarten and yeah. first through second grade, mm. I never played at recess. Okay. I would always ask to go to the other classroom. Yeah. I never knew what the other classroom was, but I always asked to go to the other classroom. Mm. They let me go to the other classroom and I'd play with the kids. Yeah. As I got older and started going to different schools, when I went to Ferndale, they offer a class called peer-to-peer. They, okay. just, they just did it. So peer-to-peer is basically colliding the general education kids with the special education kids as mm. a course for a grade at the end of it but it's also to build a bond and a relationship with a kid who wouldn't usually see you because usually in schools the general education kids is isolated from the yeah. special education kids so i feel like that brought it more to my attention that oh this is what i really want to do and mm. one of the teachers um hannah at at the school she has um she plugged me with the summer job, mm. and the summer job was all disabilities, 
Yeah. And under one summer program, it was for like a month at a summertime, and yeah. I messed with that. So I was like, "Let's do it." But is that is that ever difficult? Because like you could have some some artistic kids where it's a high case, low case. Like my mm-hmm. uh, wife, her brother uh, is art- he got a minor case of autism. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's autistic, but it's like a minor case. Mm-hmm. But like, is it difficult? Because I'm quite sure you can face kids that's like that's gonna be challenging you. Like you know what I'm saying? That's- yeah, I've I've had challenging cases but like a lot of time it's all about understanding Mm -hmm. you don't understand what's going on you're not gonna you're not gonna vibe with what's going on so all the students that i ever worked with you have to build that bond and trust first because they're not gonna mess with you at first and i know it's like they gotta have things gotta be a set schedule like Mm -hmm. the way they go by their day how you put their clothes on Mm -hmm. shit like that like if If anything changes oh my god because her her cousin he he grown like he older dude like 39 40 Mm -hmm. and like when his parents leave and they say, "Oh, we be back at seven o'clock." And it's seven o one. Oh shit, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a problem. Mm-hmm. Like he gotta know how the day gonna be once he leave out that door, or if they leave and he home, he gotta know like how they day gonna be when they coming home. And everything. Mm-hmm. Like when you come in the door, you can't just come right in the door. You gotta ring the doorbell. Mm-hmm. You all if you don't ring the doorbell, he gonna make you go outside ring the doorbell. Mm-hmm. Like so, yeah, it's, it's interesting. But like you said, it just depends on I guess how you you know saying handle them and stuff like that. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now. Back on the uh, this on the music shit, but give me a CD or a song that take you back to a time like perfectly, like when you were a little one a couple years ago. Like every time you hear this song or this CD, you could just think about exactly what That's you were doing. That's why you say the CD because those are extinct now. Hey, but hey, I, I used know, to I'm do. I do when I was starting my music. <laughs> I used to press all my CDs up, and I have <laughs> CDs. I got like stacks of old CDs with all my old Baby Casey music on there. Yeah, I remember passing out. I, I passed out real quick. I passed out a CD of mine when I was doing music. I put my number on there, and nigga called me and just left a voicemail about how trash the CD was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this the ass. Like, why the fuck would you even put this? I'm like, damn, bro. Like, damn. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, you- <laughs> um, I gave a CD to Big Sean. Okay. And he had a private listening party downtown. Mm. And that was the last time I had a CD. I was like, what are we supposed How do we supposed to get out yeah. there anymore? Yeah, like, it's sure. just not on... Digital yeah, is, yeah. is is not as easy. I can't just keep on handing out flash drives. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, I can't sure. hand out a CD. The cars don't have CD players no more. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't. It's so a, I, when I saw him, I said, "This is my opportunity. Let me hand it to him." Yeah, I yeah, for sure. Yeah, but what's that? I don't know what the hell that's come from. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's uh, yeah? What's the CD a or something? Song like? that takes me back. I'm gonna say one of my old songs. I um. So it's a personal song, not nobody else. It's, it's yours. Yeah, nobody okay. unless they know me from Lil Mini. Yeah. That was my old rap name or Mini. If mm-hmm. they don't know me from then, they don't know this song. But it was called So What. This was the first song I ever performed, ever had. My sister wrote it. The sister I was telling you about earlier, mm-hmm. and she wrote the song for me. We got the beat from her friend, and it just reminded me of when I was like first starting. This was in when I told you HP mm-hmm. we. I'm little and I'm going to this hip hop class, this yeah. hip hop school with Yo Yo. She's a rapper. She's an old school legend. Okay. Look her up if you don't know her. Yeah, or something like that. For sure, for so, sure. So, um, it just takes me back to like the fun times with music. Like it was so fun. Yeah, like yeah, now yeah. it's like, wow, everybody just thinks this is okay to like just be a rapper. Like yeah, don't yeah. nobody appreciate the art. So with that being said, the song is called So What, and I've been trying to find it for years, and I don't know where I'm gonna find it. Like I, yeah. I'm trying to find it, but. She wrote it for me, and it just showed me how much I progressed with my music because that mm. was the first song she wrote for me to, and the last song she worked for me. Mm. After that, I was like, he make me another song. They love that one. Yeah. She was BSing me. Yeah. I said, okay, she can't, this shit can't be that hard. <laughs> so I sat down, and I wrote me another song, and then I yeah. wrote me another song, and I'm like, oh, I, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she taught me how to write my own music and that was my stepping stone for, for sure. me to start now you say uh you said right doing that story you said people just rap but don't appreciate music mm-hmm. like do you feel like that's why like like everybody named mama call yourself a rapper like instagram and they profile i'm a rapper mm-hmm. i'm a rapper what don't they what don't you feel like an artist coming up like don't appreciate about the music like you think they just doing it because hey um such and such get the hoes because he a rapper so, yeah you know what i'm saying i don't think they appreciate the art of music okay mm-hmm. so when i think of the perfect studio session i think of somebody who make beats mm-hmm. somebody that know how to record somebody that know how to write somebody else know how to write somebody else who got the vision somebody else that got a camera somebody else it's a whole production yeah, for sure. now the studio times i got a whole list so you better wait okay <laughs> the first thing is it has to be a production so yeah. i'm sitting here 
he making a beat. Yeah. As he making that beat, mm. I'm thinking of what I'm about to write. Yeah, for sure. Somebody else in the back thinking of a video concept. Yeah. To when when the song is done, yeah. the video. Okay, so that's the studio session. That's one. All right. People don't appreciate the art of performing. Mm. Performing and knowing your steps, knowing your moves, being at the front of the stage. I was coached by Yo Yo. Yeah. A legend. She, she, rapper, Ice Cube, West Coast. Like she oh, just yeah, uh, yo, yo, yeah, all yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah, no fuck so, that is. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah. put some respect on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Put some respect on it. She taught me. Super MC taught me lyrics. Mm. He sat there in the window. This is also in Highland Park at the Yo Yo School of Hip Hop. I'm gonna say, ten, almost like eighteen years ago. Yeah. He sat in the window. Soup. Super MC. He sat in the window, and everything that went out that window, he freestyled, and, and he kept going, kept yeah. going, kept going, kept going. Don't nobody know how to freestyle right now. No. Like, earlier, you was asking that I want to rap. Mm. I'm a freestyle, because mm. it's more challenging than to yeah. do something that I already wrote. I sat there. Of course, I freestyled it, but at the end, like, don't nobody appreciate the lyricism. Everything is just, like, catchy or, like... yeah. Can somebody say something like a no, different sure. simile than the same ones I'm right. seeing? Don't nobody right. use metaphors, personification. They don't. They don't appreciate nothing that's going on. For sure. They don't know the the history behind hip hop. Yeah, hip yeah. hop, not yeah. rap. Yeah, yeah, hip hop. Yeah. yeah, for sure. DJing, turntables, mixing, uh, none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that being said, music is not what it used to be. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm old school, yeah, but saying, yeah. I'm old school when <laughs> yeah. it comes to the music no, shit. No. I ain't gonna lie. I'm old school when it comes know, to but music. But a lot of people just do shit because it's it's popular. Like, even with the podcast shit, niggas just do it. Like, all right, I got a podcast. Come on, let's talk shit. But they don't really, like, listen or take time to study other podcasts and see how they are with their guests and stuff like that. Like I yeah. say, a lot of times people bring people on the, on the show just because they got a popular name, but they don't really do the research behind it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you just got somebody on the show, so you wasting that person's time because you don't know shit about that person. Yeah, I just talk about just, some bullshit. Yeah, y'all just talking. Some of you could have did with your, with your homie and y'all could have just been whatever, whatever. So mm -hmm. I, I feel you on that one. Then with the music, I think a lot of niggas just do it because shit, everybody do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the cool thing to do. Yeah. Don't it's uh, I see like when I see like um on is it Say Cheese or like the Shade Room or mm -hmm. something and they have post like a little thirteen year old boy with guns and money oh, and he yeah, just yeah, rapping yeah. and it's just like you probably could be a doctor. Yeah. Like you probably could be a actual baseball. Like you could be a lot, but you want to try to rap a thing and do the same thing these yeah. other rappers are doing. Yeah. But that was all a part of an agenda that we ain't gonna get into. <laughs> For sure. Hell no. Now who was your uh growing up, who was your your first favorite rapper? Like before, like we you, you know, cause every time your first favorite rapper is always like kinda childish. Kind of you know what I'm saying? Cause you, you I like that boy. Was it like Jawan and his his song was like, it was like, I don't know, like it was like the mindless behavior time I think. Oh yeah, cause you lost me. I don't know who the hell Jawan is. He <laughs> he know he's like he was like a one hit wonder. It was okay. like a couple little like, and then that other little. It was so funny cause me and my cousin Chloe we used to listen to like the YouTube things and like now they like actually like popping sometimes. But yeah. it was like. Jawan, I don't know, but he was yeah. cool. But like a famous one, I'ma say, I listen to Soldier Boy. Like a lot of his yeah, music, I listen to a lot of that. So yeah. Soldier Boy was cool. So, but he, he started a whole wave too. Soldier Boy is a legend, and they don't yeah. want to give him none of his props. Soldier yeah. Boy is the the ish, like yeah. all the way. Like <laughs> that nigga funny as hell. I know that for sure. He, when I think he said a TV he show. the first to do something, he wasn't lying. No, he was like when he said the iPhone shit. This nigga really had got the first iPhone, like. Yeah. That nigga was doing all that shit. He, and he really the first rapper to pop off on like YouTube and shit like that. Like yeah. he, was, he started the whole streaming shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of Soldier Boy, you know, he got tied up into the whole little young Dolph shit. Mm -hmm. You know, because he was talking shit about him, I guess, like a week prior or whatever. Like they was going back and forth about like the real meaning of being independent. And he was mm -hmm. saying like that nigga was independent, shit like that. Who Dolph wasn't? Yeah, but he was. Oh. But he was saying he wasn't. And then I said they took him off the screen tour because they was fearing like if he go to Memphis, like for that for that show. You know they was gonna, they gonna mess it up. Yeah. yeah. So they took him off for that one, uh, that one show. Now to get back on Dolph, you know he, he passed away or whatever. Do you feel like <laughs> once you reach a certain level of fame, you should stay away from the crib, especially if you know you might got some problems at the at the crib? Yeah, it's all about how you carry yourself. I'm guessing like he, to our eyes, like as a famous person, he seemed like sweet, but this man has a past as well. Sure. He has. 
probably he probably got some enemies too like know, you definitely. gotta always watch out like you can't trust nothing for real so with that being said if you do have a high status mm -hmm. and you have beef or you have problems you should always be on your p's and q's don't ever think it can't happen to you because yeah, yeah. It can. Yeah, because uh, you got to get in and get out. Like, for real. Because <laughs> then, and some niggas you ain't got to have a problem with. They could just be envious of you because, shit, y'all went to school together and you was doing that shit. He was doing mm -hmm. it, but he popped off and you stood at the crib. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, you mad. Your girl might be playing his music. Like, nigga, why the fuck you playing his music? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I rap too. So, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that nigga going to be mad. Every time he see a nigga on, the, on, on TV, especially when your girl, when your girl playing somebody else's music <laughs> and you do music, you going to be mad as hell. Yeah, I guess he was like. <laughs> like, you ain't even fucking with my music, but this nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how it should be. And it's sad, but niggas be mad at, about niggas' success because they shit didn't pop off. Mm -hmm. So, that's just how it is. So, yeah, but rest in peace to, uh, to rest Dog, Rest in though. peace, Dog. Now, you, you said you started back in the day, when, you know what I'm saying, school of hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? So, at what age did you really take it for real, for real? Like, I'm going to be serious with this shit. Um, I'm going to say this year really pushed me to do a lot, but it also changed my perspective on a lot because mm. um i'm always in front of the camera but lately i've been trying to be behind the scenes and i'm pushing a couple artists is what i'm trying to do that's why i started picking up the camera along mm, for sure jay shot it is my inspiration yeah, to yeah, yeah. shooting videos and being behind the camera sometimes too but mm. um it's fun being behind the scenes as well for sure. but i took music serious this year because i want to like, I started making music, and then I was like, damn, I like this song. <laughs> and I was like, hold on, I ain't the only one. Yeah. So I started putting little snippets out, and then I'm like, are they fucking with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, keep that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm keeping it. Then I made another song, put a little snippet out. They like, I'm like, okay, mm. yeah, on some, uh-huh. So I went, and I made me like. I'm gonna say about five songs, but I wanna yeah. have it. I wanna re record all of them with the same producer, make it sound really nice, and I wanna put a project together. Mm -hmm. Projects are not like like known right now. Like people yeah. would just yeah, put out single, 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 single. People don't even make albums anymore. No, hell no. What's, 20 songs? What is 20 songs? Shit, so, 20 songs for. for the, the average consumer they gonna go, that's their whole career yeah then they, the, nigga, the nigga listen to it I ain't gonna probably be like alright if the first three songs ain't popping they gonna go to the next CD they ain't exactly. gonna listen to it like that's hard to have that many songs cause you gotta make sure you, ca you catch that person's attention for all 20 fucking songs cause exactly. it, as soon as you lose them nigga gonna go to the next person like fuck this I ain't listen to this yeah that's anymore. why songs are only like a minute and 30 seconds to two minutes and 30 seconds now like songs yeah. aren't even full songs with three verse I mean two verses three hooks or vice versa yeah that's unheard of as well people don't even know the setup of a song or count bars yeah. another thing when I was telling you about my list <laughs> for sure yeah. that's my list yeah 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 for sure for sure now you were saying um with the projects cause I I, I was going through your music and stuff and like I said you got a lot of singles uh when, when, when would you feel comfortable with dropping a project Next year. Next year. I was going to make it like a, not like a sentimental, but like a memorable time mm. to four. I told you that was the date. So yeah, yeah, for sure. that's oh, yeah, yeah, around yeah. the time or it might come a little sooner. But for the most part, I'm going to go two four because mm. I want it to mean something, especially like I'm thinking of a name, yeah, yeah, yeah. thinking of a cover. Mm. It's a lot that goes into this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now with your music, do you got somebody you can go to? Like, all right, hey, they, who going to really give you, like, they honest feedback, and you going to really be like, all right, I, I hear what you're saying. I can take a little bit of what you said and go ahead and maybe change something around. Do you got that person you can go to that's going to keep it real with you with your music and not just a whole bunch of niggas that going to be like, yeah, that shit hard, but. Yeah, they, I tell everybody, I love, I need the constructive criticism. I, of course, I'm sensitive about my work, but then I'm also like, okay, I, fuck, I feel how you coming, but at the end of the day, that's my music, and I love it. Yeah. But my sister will tell you. Mm-hmm. My best friend will tell you. Mm. My cousin Calvin, he'll tell me. I play my music and he'll, he'll be like, damn, that's hard, cuz. Yeah. Then I play some other stuff just to see what he gonna say. Yeah, Something yeah, I already yeah, don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play and he talking about, nah, cuz. You, you can't even, <laughs> I ain't, that ain't it. That ain't yeah, it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I see where your head at. I, I test on my, I play some BS or yeah, something yeah. I ain't finished or it ain't mixed right. Yeah, yeah. But and my Some, mama, they, my people, my my uh, inner circle, like yeah. the people that's rocking with me, rocking with me, they not gonna tell me no lies, cause yeah. what what is that gonna benefit? No, like? but some niggas be too scared to uh to hear the truth, and some niggas be too scared to get the truth. Mm -mm, I make it known, the, or I start playing some music, and then I just play it. Yeah. 
And then if they say something, then I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just try to yeah. see, figure out where they yeah, are. I know I can ask this nigga anything. He gonna be like, oh, that's your ass. Like, and he gonna say it like, nigga, in the most disrespectful way, too, probably. Oh, so. yeah, tell <laughs> yeah. me, too. Yeah. He'll sit there and tell me, too, but... I don't think he told me none of my songs was trash. <laughs> like, like that, that, that ain't it, girl. Like, so. no, I'll tell you for sure. <laughs> he told me, but he hasn't told me like none of the like ones recently, like the ones that I'm planning on dropping on my project. Yeah, yeah. So tell everybody they fire. Yeah, yeah. You need those people though. I'm, I'm trust me, cause you got too many niggas who saying it's straight and like nigga, come on now, dog. Everything ain't straight. You, right. It's something I could change this motherfucker for real, for real. But like I said, some niggas be too soft and they don't want to hear the truth sometimes. Yeah, so. people don't like the truth. I tell people the truth, and then I tell them like, at the end of the day, it's music, it's art. For sure. It is what it is. Yeah. It's that's just like when you see an abstract artist, you like, what is it? It is what you see it is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So my song, my music is what you see it as. If you see it as trash, then shit is fucking. You know, yeah. my my music is different from anybody's. In the city, period. Mm. So when I when I'm listen when I'm letting them listen to it, they're not expecting the rah rah of it all of yeah. bang bang shoot 'em up or yeah. I'm selling my pussy. So yeah. with that being said, <laughs> and that's, that's what I heard. I think, a lot of people don't vibe with it. Like they, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said that because do you feel like a Detroit female rapper can be successful without selling sex? Um, rappers, female rappers can't. I ain't gonna watch it. Yeah. I, even though I'm not selling it. My videos, my new videos, they're going to be more sexy mm. just because of the fact that I'm not talking about the same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just about what they want to see. Everybody want to be nosy and want to know what's going on. Yeah, so, sure. with yeah, that yeah, being yeah. said, they just want to see. They want to see more of me. Just like my Instagram page, I just made it private. Mm. Now they want to see. Yeah, but yeah. when it's open, they ain't want to see. Yeah, well, for sure. I think I heard you on there saying something. I don't know, something. You you might be in your story tomorrow, like, niggas not liking shit, but, you know what I'm saying? But, like you said, looking at your motherfucking stories, but... Yeah, I like, have... I had like the most likes I ever got on a picture was three hundred, something like around there, like close to three oh, shit, four. I wish I got that. But <laughs> I um I noticed that once I put my page on private, yeah. I get more views. I have my page on public and business. Yeah. With a business page, it shows you all the analytics as in how many people see your story a day, how mm -hmm. many who sent your story out. Yeah. Um what time of the day is your page most active? How many yeah, yeah. people looking at your page at a certain time? When I noticed I put it on private, it don't... It's none of that because they want you to pay for promotion. For sure, for sure. I ain't paying for it no more. He took $25. I DM'd him. Yeah. <laughs> but Mike, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, I DM'd him. I yeah. told him I, I don't appreciate <laughs> me having to pay for promotion. And yeah. then I said, once I put my page on pay for promotion, you kept on taking my money, bro. Like... Man... What he's twenty five dollars a month. <laughs> yeah. I, I just wanted it one time. I promoted a video. I looked at my my card and it said twenty five dollars like three times. I said, oh, never again. Yeah, Cancel that card. Hell yeah. So you, you, your shit still on private now, or is it open? It's on, I just I just opened it. Okay. All I right. just opened it because I was overthinking it. I just had a conversation yeah. with my system. I was like, like, fuck it. I'm like, but it's still not a business page. Yeah. I once you push business and then it says like what you are up under it. Mm. And then to show you everything, I don't even need all of that because they're gonna look regardless. Yeah. So it then really I told is. you I got a job and it started being weird. Yeah. I said, hmm. Cause at work, I don't look like this. Mm. I look like that. Okay. So they don't know what I look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, I don't want y'all to know what I look like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, then yeah. I said, fuck it. Open this bitch back up. Come look at this shit. Cause yeah. I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I did. That shit funny as hell. Yeah, but that Instagram shit can get serious. You can have a million followers. Niggas won't say shit to your shit. It could be dope as hell, this, that, and the third, but niggas won't like it, won't comment on nothing. But They won't. Yeah, I had to stop. I had to not pay attention to that shit. Just shit. Post what you post. They'll be there. If niggas see it, they see it. If they don't, they don't. Yeah, but they're going to see it. <laughs> hell, <dog. laughs> they're going to see it. They're going to act yeah. like they did, oh, no, but they're going to see it for sure. Now, you said some interesting stuff about like, right. like the studio shit. Like You said you go there and nigga make a beat right there. You write into it. You got... Such and such thinking about the the video. Every do you think like that on every song you record? Like that every song is a video. Got to be a video to it. Like that's how your thing is for everything. Um, not every song need a video, but every song does need a video because it's all mm. a vision. Like a song mm. is a story, mm. and a story needs a movie, and the movie is the video. For sure. So it all ties together. Mm. That's like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. So you, so but you, because niggas ain't thinking like that. Niggas just going that bitch and just recording. They not That's thinking about thing. that. I shit. hate the way the studios are set up. So I started building my own last. Ooh, two years ago I started my own studio, mm. and um, I'm just now learning how to work all of my stuff. For sure. But that's the main thing is to I rather record myself and pay to get it mixed and mastered. If I can't go to the studio and vibe how I want to. For sure, for sure. Everything is an hourly like damn yeah. they're putting a timer on me while oh, no, I'm in there. No, for sure. Yeah, you I got have, you got pressure. I go in there and I try to create. Yeah. Two years ago, Bestie just corrected me. Um, two years ago I started building my studio, but I like to create. Like I like to vibe. Like we can put on a beat right now, and I just say the coolest stuff right here. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna forget by the time I go to the studio, yeah. and it's gonna be pointless. For sure, hell yeah. So yeah. I say, get a studio, record. But I, I agree with you, niggas need like if you're gonna be a recording artist or artist whatever, I think niggas. Started need to start looking at a team. Like, do you know how long Tupac spent in the studio? Making shit, all album? day, all shit, day, all night, all that day. That motherfucker all drop that nigga be in that bitch all, all damn day. day. Cause niggas was talking about how his whole little studio time was and how he had just like record verse. All right, man, go to the next shit. Like just that third. Just that's why he had so many fucking mute, so many songs dropping after he does. And it's like that's unheard of. Like when I find a producer who believes in me yeah. and wants me to come to the studio and tells me come to the studio I got this like I don't have a manager or nothing like that so everything I've ever been paid for is like my daddy pockets on my mom pocket my sister pockets on mine and it's like okay bro like it's time to buckle down and do it the right way yeah for sure so if that's the right way of me recording myself and just paying for it to be mixed and mastered that's cool yeah. but I love my producers that I have now mm. I just really wish we could not have it on a time schedule all yeah, the just, time yeah just hey I'm coming in I let's have go ahead. writer's block just like everybody else if I go in there I'm listening to the same beat yeah. for a week straight I want to switch it up sometimes let's go to the next beat let's just try some other stuff yeah for sure then yeah. I want to have like a session like I want to have like my sister there like she's a freaking genius when it comes to writing she she I was more of a mathematician in school she mm. was more like wordy yeah. so she got like a different word play that I mess with that For I sure. I like her opinion on but yeah it's got to be a vibe it can't be all right write your song come with your beat send me the beat record all right that's it and it's just like ugh, it's so it take the fun out of it that's yeah. why I you really definitely ain't... need your own studio shit your own producer or some shit like that and y'all just do it like that because it's gonna be a whole lot easier like that because that's that... why i have my own videographer because mm-hmm. now it's like one step closer to a team regardless. yeah for sure now I bought a beat machine too So I'm going to try to learn how to do the beats I yeah. bought it two years ago I got dust on it now But <laughs> I'm going to you know, yeah. I'm gonna still tap into that That yeah. little part But that's what I said. We a You got to have a team We a package man got this, this dude do everything You know what I'm yeah, saying Yeah that's the, that's the plan I'll pay him one day He going to get paid once we blow up That's you know what, what I'm saying? saying People don't look <laughs> at the long run We're yeah. going to get paid For sure It's not about the money Because if anything I done spent t- video hair wardrobe makeup scene yeah, all that set, shit. all studio time beats yeah, yeah, more expensive. studio time that's why i realized i couldn't be a rapper because i'm too cheap oh yeah like i'm gonna shoot my shit on my iphone fuck it but them <laughs> like, boys looking sweet now like, these iphones got 10 cameras on the back for of them sure. i can't because niggas put too much into it like i'm like man i ain't got the time for this shit man like i'm gonna still be on youtube I'm a, I ain't about to be paying for shit, man. Yeah, I did the YouTube beats for a good minute, and then I realized I heard somebody else on the beat mm. that I was on. I said, "Yep, yep, I did that I'm same start shit." Paying for my beats, but I found somebody that I like, and he yeah. listens to me when I say, "Can you make this kind That's of?" That's all beat? you need, though. You need that. You need that. That go-to person. Make a. Make, yeah, make, I got two of them. Make it a whole lot easier. Yeah. Now, I, I also. Um, Oh, back on studio shit. What's some shit that you need in studio? What's your you gotta have this shit to have a good studio session? Do it gotta be people? It gotta be food? Gotta be drinks, water, whatever? Like what I need do to you have need? my water, so I'm not parched. For sure. Um, and I gotta have my. That's all I need. My it's, water. It's water in your in your in your phone. Yeah, I don't smoke, so yeah. that's not like I need a pound of weed <laughs> to get started. Yeah, like, sure. hold on, roll up, yeah. cause that's a distraction as well in the studio. Where the scissors at? Oh, you ain't got the scissors. Oh, what's it? What? Well, get a new pack of wood. Damn, all these. Wood. That's the whole thing at the studio. <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah. Need that. You need to be needing that shit. But for the most part, I like going to the studio by myself. Yeah, for I sure. I don't have a whole bunch of people at the studio with me. It's not like a. Yeah. party at the studio because this is a job this is yeah. work i'm coming here to work i'm not coming here to party if you want to party party at the club yeah for sure not at my studio so <laughs> that i'm paying for of course now not. i also peep 
to get back on the camera and stuff, you being behind the camera, I peeped that you had did my dog. Uh, he was on the show too, Son of Rose. Mm-hmm. You did his That's video. That's his boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I him did and, that uh, video. Him, Fico Tweez. They was on here and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, what what made you uh want to get behind the camera and stuff like that? Was it because you know saying looking at Jay and stuff what he doing or? Is this something you was interested in? Yeah, Jay basically put the camera in my hand and walked away. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what happened at that. Just to sum it all up. But yeah, yeah that that was cool because I'm a creative thinker. So mm-hmm. it's like, let's put this together. And once it's together, it's going to be creative regardless because we're creative people. Like, yeah. the coolest. Yeah, when I was, what's, the, what's the difference? Like... The difference behind the between camera? being behind the camera and being in front, because niggas love to be in front of the camera, nigga. Some niggas don't need to be in front of that bitch, be in front of it. Yeah, but, you know. um, being in front of the camera is fun. I like the whole the shindig of getting dressed and mm-hmm. pulling up, put my makeup on, whatever. I like that part, but behind the camera is cool too because the people behind the camera don't get enough credit. Do you know how many people it takes to make a movie? Hell yeah! So shit. it's like all of them people need to be appreciated too. No, for sure. Like they. They put a lot of work in, an effort, a lot of visions, a lot of rights and throwing away papers and ideas. It, mm. It's a lot to go with it, and you got to be dedicated. So no, with that sure. being said, being in front of the camera is cool, but being behind the camera is also cool. Yeah. It's equally cool. It's yeah. not, It's not. oh, I like being in front of the camera because I like to be seen. Because sometimes I want to chill and just yeah. be behind the camera and do some regular stuff mm-hmm. like... Yeah, because that shit you did with Sun Rose, that shit's straight. Like I said, he a dope he a dope artist. Like, I like yeah, him. Yeah, he is. He's I really fuck cool. with him, man. He's a cool dude. We were just we talking about him before y'all came. Hopefully, he's, he continue to make music. Because you know how some niggas, I mean, you might uh, could attest to this. Like, they'll have some dope music or they be a dope individual, but then they don't put the music out enough. Yeah. Or they just fall off because they be, you know, unmotivated and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a lot to go with music. It's not always about... I have music from years ago that I never dropped that. If I let you listen to it, you would probably be like, oh, that's sweet. But it's yeah. like, I was 10. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was 10. So yeah. it's like, I love to do the music just because I love to do the music. Some yeah. people actually love the art and they go sit there and spend thousands of dollars in the studio just to have the music for them to listen to. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I yeah. don't really care. I mean, I would love for everybody to hear it, but if the support and the promote, it's a, it's a lot. It's a job. No, but for sure, for sure. If it ain't all there, then it ain't. Mm. Now, uh, you know, you, you being an artist and then you you know shooting videos, I, I want to ask you this question about pricing. Mm-hmm. How do you go about pricing? What do you feel like about artists charging or overly charging to be featured on a song and their name not really big enough to take the song nowhere? Um, Me doing features, I never really did a feature. Like, I hop on a couple of my homeboy songs mm-hmm. or like a homegirl, whatever. But it's like, if you think about it, if I'm going to pay for a feature, I want to pay for something that's going to be a good investment because at the end of the day it's an investment i'm not paying for no features if it's not gonna make the money back or yeah, at least because sure. no. music you get money from streams and like shows and stuff so if the song popping and they like oh we want you in the club because that's where you're getting money from or we yeah. want you at the party or can we do you know so overly charging for a feature is just like greediness yeah because like, i'll be I laughing know. like a motherfucking niggas be like just today only 400 like, nigga, who the fuck are you, bro? Like, <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit to this song, make it no different. And nigga, today only, nigga. If I tell you I got four hundred tomorrow, you gonna take that four hundred. So nigga, don't. Right. So stop trying to say. No, here, it was this thing on there. It was like, uh, <laughs> who? It was like, um, what was it? He was like, it was one of them comedians, but he was basically saying like, um. All right, we're doing a thousand dollar features. I'm in the oh, studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. Then he was like, Man, shoot, the last two hours we're gonna do them for 800, 800. Oh, yeah, I think that was Kid L doing that shit. And then he went yeah, down yeah. all the way to 100. Like, fuck, we just giving them out. Come <laughs> on, kids, come grab That's me. That's what I mean. I'll be rolling. One nigga said, Yeah, it's Halloween. I got Halloween prices on deck. Like, nigga, I'm quite sure a nigga gonna have a Thanksgiving. Like, nigga, Black Friday. <laughs> 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 nigga, get this bit for 250. I usually charge a thousand. Nigga, I'm showing love. Like, sure. dog. What? Like nigga, you ain't doing shit, bro. Like, come on now, dog. I hate that. Like, to me, if I'm a new artist, bro, I'm trying to build with other artists. Like, I'm not about to charge and me and you ain't gonna do shit different to the song. So let's go ahead and build this shit together. Like, yeah, people why? don't think like that. Niggas overcharge for every fucking thing, though. Like, nigga, whatever. Like, nigga told me he was gonna charge me to be on my podcast. I'm like, man, fuck you. Uh, for about real. To pay you, ask you no questions, nigga. Like, <laughs> fuck that, man. I'm good. So yeah, but no, it's all good though, man. If niggas wanna charge overly prices for no reason, nigga, do you, nigga, shit. Now, we got this one shit called Talk About the Bars. I take a piece of a line on a song, and you just go and you talk about it. 
So on the one song you had a uh, on uh, if I want to, you said can't trick me like my daddy, then you gotta go. So be, the best fuck out. Okay, you can't trick me so, like my daddy. But you gotta but go. but is that too much pressure on the dude? Like, God damn, I gotta be I gotta be pops. Like I gotta do everything. Cause sometimes a woman can can expect so much and never find a dude because you just all right, you got this, but it gotta be this, 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 like. But it's the thing, it's like I don't even really care for like what you can do for me. Like I mm. really am attracted to like personality. If I can't for have sure. fun with you or no, bad, bad, if I yeah. can't have a good conversation, I can't bring you on nope. my family. Now and conversation you... is the most important thing. Because I was with a chick who just I, I want her to close her mouth when we was around people. Like you, you really dumb in real life. Yeah, it's so like it's you like, cute until you up your mouth. Yeah, you start sweating when the conversation get deep. Like damn, she about to try to be fake deep. <laughs> Ain't no one talking about too. That's why he laughing. I bet dog, you be that bit sweat. Like come on, dog, shut up. Yeah, I, it's not even about what you could do for me. My daddy did everything in the world for me. Like for sure. So I don't expect somebody to come in and just swoop me off my feet and just yeah. buy me all this. Cause I'm not even like a materialistic for type sure. of girl. Like I'm like a regular. No, for sure. Regular, regular. Now let me ask you this: first date to get to be on that. What what some things that you expect somebody to do on the first date? If they don't do it. You'd be like, all right, nah. Like opening um, doors. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, but I'm gonna stop at the door regardless. So yeah. I don't really care. So, um, on the first date, what you gotta do? Just it? have like conversation. Like we really gotta have like don't just sit there and eat your food or yeah. don't just sit there and just be regular. Sh- yeah. Boring or whatever, just be normal. Like I was like to have a vibe. Like everything got to be like a vibe with me. Like, don't come being boring. Mm-hmm. If we're going out, if we're going to the party or whatever. Just like you know, have yeah. fun. Yeah. I don't expect you to go beyond because at the end of the day, if you ask for split bills, I'm not gonna have no problem with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say bring me one bill and pay for it. Like yeah. I don't really care about none of that. Sure. But the main thing is to have a conversation. Yeah, facts. and be interesting. Like let's talk about. Stuff that you not what's my favorite color? Cause first of all, I don't even got one, so let's not even get into what it. you got a favorite color. I don't really care for that. My shit weird. My shit gray. Gray. Yeah. I can tell. Is that a color. No. <laughs> like they, but yeah, that's a, gray. Yeah. Everything. I love gray. Like that's my shit. Yeah. Gray right. is cool. I like all the colors, so it's not like oh, I only wear this. Yeah, I only yeah, see yeah, that. yeah, for sure. Now another one on another line. Uh, you had said um, uh, be about it. you said make a song, make a song, and I still ain't put it out. Are you a type of person that just hold music, just be like, man, I ain't putting this shit. I'm just gonna hold that bitch like it's gonna be here. No, I don't hold it. I just don't know when to put it out. Yeah. Like I literally, I made like a few songs and I'm like, these will be. But then it's like a season. Mm-hmm. So like, I feel like some of my songs is summertime songs. Yeah, for sure. So, so it's like a summertime vibe. So I'm not gonna drop it in the winter. Like, yeah. But if I make some bossy shit, like yeah, make that, I'm gonna <laughs> drop that in the winter time. But yeah. you know, like everything is a season. Yeah. So with that being said. I will put them out eventually, sure. but at the moment I'm keeping them. Yeah. Now you think sometimes because it'd be a dope song, you might have held that bitch so long that you like fuck. I ain't even gonna put this shit out at all. Like you said, you got some dope songs when you was ten and shit. Like yeah, they ain't never coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I like, might at the end of the day, like if I, cause I was I was so sweet when I was little. I take some of my old lyrics and just yeah. put them on a new song and make it seem like still go hard. Know. Heck yeah. Now, cause when I was little, I ain't cuss. I just started cussing in my music like last year. How your parents felt about that? I had a conversation with him before <laughs> like, then, but yeah, like, I was like, I was like, I want to cousin my music. Yeah, and they were like, okay, like, all right. Like, they didn't really care yeah, yeah, for yeah. real. It was time to graduate and shit on your little Bow Wow. Because it was weird when Bow Wow first started cussing, nigga. Like, like damn, Bow Wow cussing? Like, because I'm, I'm old, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm talking about little Bow Wow. Yeah. But when he started cussing, that was like a big thing. Like, damn, this little nigga can cuss? Like, that shit crazy. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was... But my lines were so sweet. Like, I had, since I didn't cuss, I had wordplay crazy. I mean, like, and that's how Wayne was. Because if you listen to old Wayne when he was with the Hot Boys, like, Wayne didn't cuss at all. Like, he didn't, get, he didn't cuss that he got, you know what I'm saying, older or whatever. But, like, the early Hot Boys CDs, uh, his first album, The Block Is Hot, that nigga wasn't cussing. Yeah, and then, and now, like, I don't even use, like, cuss words, like, how I'm, like, if I'm cussing, I'm going to use them. But, bitch, yeah. bitch, bitch, bitch. but, no, I don't even use them like that, like. I feel like that defeats the purpose of my music. Like, I need lyrics. Like, shit, bitch. But, like, all of them words <laughs> yeah. is, like, pointless. People will use that and just keep rhyming no, with sure, it. It's so sure. annoying. Nigga, now, speaking of, on one line, if I want to, you say, I'm a boss bitch. I ain't hanging around with bosses. Is I'm that important to hang around? Hang around. It's, it's, hang a, it's important, like, to hang around motherfuckers that's doing something because, you know what I'm saying, like, who, 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 you know, doing something with their life. You don't want to hang around motherfuckers that just, like, selling for their bullshit life or selling for just... 
a piece of the pie and shit like that like yeah. is it important to hang around other motherfuckers who motivate you to do better yeah i really don't even hang for real but when i do go out or when you do see me out it's all it's not like an image but it's like it's a vibe mm-hmm. like you're not seeing me with nobody that got a bad rep or you yeah. know like nothing like that like my circle is really Tight. like a cheerio yeah. that's another one of no. my lyrics. so <laughs> yeah. it's like right here and we all nah. like-minded that's what sure. i hang with like-minded people yeah because one time i did listen to my older brother he was like man like when you hang around people if you see them chilling like normally if you you gonna adapt and do the same shit that your boy's doing right. like if they ain't doing shit then shit you probably gonna be doing shit mm-hmm. but then if you see niggas doing something like this nigga be doing everything he's like a jamaican almost or whatever like mm-hmm. he do everything so like damn like that shit motivating like shit mm-hmm. i need to be doing so myself and shit yeah, you hang with some niggas, no good niggas, and shit. You gonna be a no good ass nigga, and shit. That's right. <laughs> so, That's just like what was it like the mold on the bread? You know, yeah. like it, it, it'd just be one little mold, and then once it touched the other yeah, bread, it's it like spread. That. Yeah, because energy transfers. I don't care. Like no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Cause you get around somebody in the room, like man, this shit. I don't even want to be around no more. Like I want to leave. Yeah. My like, nigga, your shit dead. You got me feeling bad now. I was, I was feeling good. Nigga, you just got paid and shit. Nigga, this nigga sad as hell. Like, cause that's the no, that's real shit. Cause it was. Like, I remember like two years ago, nigga, me and my wife was, nigga, we were broke. Like, shit was getting bad, nigga. My, our checks was laughable. Like, mm-hmm. like, but when we got around other people, you would never know that we was like, you know what I'm saying, in the funk. Right. Because like, you don't want to make people like, man, we don't want to be around them. Them niggas going to talk about how broke they are or yeah. why they struggling their ass life and shit. Like, fuck it, man. I ain't going to let right. anybody know. You know what I'm right. saying? I got my certain people I let know. Like, man, this right. shit hard, dog. Mm-hmm. But you don't want to just keep on, every time you call and pick the phone up, Oh, here come Casey. Nah. <laughs> Complaining yeah, and shit. Right. Like, <laughs> ain't put her on do not disturb and shit. <laughs> Two times. Like, fuck that. Now, uh, last one on the song Bars. You said, I don't need no weird vibes standing around me. Either you real or you fake. Just don't surprise me. Have you ever had that encounter? Like, damn, nigga, you just surprised me. Out of, like, I, all of a sudden, you just became a fake ass nigga. Yeah, it's a, it's a few of those. But, like, <laughs> I'm just loyal to the soil. So... Rather we cool or we friends for real. Like, it's a difference. Like, I'm cordial with a lot of, like, cool with people. But, mm-hmm. like, if we friends or something like that, I expect, not even expect, but in life, like, different stuff is just supposed to be, like, I don't know, mm-hmm. common sense. Yeah, but some sure. stuff is not so common. So, it's like, I guess I can't be mad, bro. But yeah. <laughs> I just expected, like, different stuff but once i realize like people be weird and acting cool and this is like no that's weird yeah yeah for sure so don't be weird now you know we, don't we, be weird. it's called talk about the bars and you know the bars bars and yeah. you know of course you know i always ask every artist if they feel comfortable with, you know saying giving us a 16 Ooh. you know what i'm saying and i told you earlier i will freestyle yeah yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. i will actually freestyle okay that's, that just tests my abilities because i'm not i'm not the best freestyler but oh, no, i'm terrible it's fun <laughs> like it's yeah. fun like it's yeah. fun to freestyle for sure so uh we're gonna get this shit together you got the headphones brother thank you brother <laughs> all right i think once the beat drop is gonna be once the beat drop mm. once the beat drop mm, the heat start mm. lame niggas don't know where to be right and then we'll mm, mm, be in we ain't mm, all right mm. We ain't seen part. This is how I go in the studio. Like it's be the uh, uh, and then it's gonna come, <laughs> and I redo the whole thing. But man, uh, it's a paperwork party where your paper at. <laughs> Lame ass niggas, they ain't never where we at. Uh, I'ma have them. Mm. See, it's like I could just uh, uh, on a podcast. My first one for real. Lame niggas don't know where I come from for real, but I get it how I want. Yeah, I get it how I live. Lame bitches always in the. Yeah, in the field, I go where I want. I ain't gotta take a pill. I ain't gotta get high. I ain't gotta sign a deal. I do what I want. I, mm, yeah, hey, how you feel? Hmm. Casey Carter. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Shy Styles. I don't freestyle, but I get it done. I slow it down. I mm, speed it up. I do what I wanna do when I'm pulling up. When I pull up, hmm. Yeah, they coming up, coming out to the door, and they greet me, saying what's up. I, hmm, I ain't seeing me. I ain't seeing you, no nah, nigga. You ain't seeing me. I go where I wanna go. I ain't 23, not even 21. Hmm. In the club to about hmm, two or one. See me in that. Hmm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, here to keep going, Cody C. 
said, hmm, gotta keep going, I can slow it down real quick for they ass. I pull up, hmm, skirt, skirt, yes, yeah, fast. Put your seatbelt on, but I got mine strapped in the back for real. I don't, mm, mm, but I don't rap for real. I just be, hmm, on these beats like, where y'all at? How y'all see? How y'all being back? Mm, mm, the bank, pull up like the men in black. See me in the, mm, the, mm, you ain't seeing that, mm, 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 but me, you ain't seeing that. I don't know. It's just, yeah, you know, just style, style, bro. Bro. Yeah. You know, it's just what, like what, what, uh, what part was this? This part, part eight, and some shit. The eight person that rapping shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who rap. Oh shit, the beat changed like a motherfucker. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was hell yeah. That was so yeah, it was uh, Casey Carter. You know what I'm saying? She uh, took the challenge because a lot of motherfuckers be saying no to me and jump. So I appreciate you saying yes because oh, a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas say no and shit. Hell yeah. That's a that's how I vibe in the studio with my eyes closed and just say anything and then just. No, I can't. No, I. I can't, yeah, that freestyle shit, nigga, if you could do that shit, nigga, round of applause. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, some, that's, that's some a shit. hard No, I can't do thing. it. Like, every, everything had to be a, be a, a rip, nigga. Like, I'll be like the game. I remember the game, the rapper, the game, he used to clown him because every time I asked him to rap, he used to rap the same motherfucking 16. <laughs> like, that nigga, he was prepped for that shit. So he, then niggas caught on to it, like, hold on, every freestyle is the same 16 you ain't rapped on. Yeah. 20 different shows. Yeah, that's, I could have, I got a million songs, but then it's like, Mm, when my song come out then yeah, yeah, yeah she I rapped that show, show, show. Yeah, so, this like, your, so this is the first podcast you was on mm -hmm. oh she about to blow up man we about to blow up yeah, yeah that's how it is we about to blow up now I know it's you is that something you trying to do get to a podcast space cause I see that you had uh, interview um what's her name Blueprint uh, Bentley Bentley yeah Oh, yeah. Blueprint Brentley. That, that's some shit you want to get into the uh, podcast space? That's another thing behind the camera I was telling yeah. you about. Like, it's not always about being in front of the camera, but I also love, like, supporting. So, like, even if I can't support musically or I can't support at a show or something, I still would like to support everybody. So, if I can support somebody by being a platform, which is something I'm, we are trying to build, so... Mm -hmm. We can do that. We yeah. gonna do it. So is, is it gonna be? What, is it gonna be focused on on artists, or are you gonna be doing like just you and him co-hosting? Y'all talking about topics or some shit, or a little mixture? I wanna of both? have anybody that's artistic. Like I, I like got into the art world a little bit too, because mm -hmm. my best friend, she's she made this hoodie. Okay, hey, this dope, fear dope. who, the coolest thing in the world. But mm. um, like I would want to interview her. Okay, and let her tell her story. So anybody with a story, for sure. I would like to put them on there. Like yeah. once I build, like build, I would be like come in and just talk about what what stories you got because everybody got a story. For sure, hell yeah. And it's always a reason why something started, mm -hmm. and it's always a reason why it's keep going or why you stopped or whatever. But some people, people just want to know. So yeah. like with that being said, this podcast people gonna listen to it because they want to get in your like yeah. get personable with yeah see what's you. going on yeah 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 for sure so. That's now, another thing. I know I you said, like, when we was talking about the year and shit, you were saying, like, you had some times that you, you know, wasn't feeling the music and shit. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a time when you was like, this, like, fuck not feeling music. I'm done with music. I ain't coming back to this shit. Fuck, fuck rap. Nah, because I love it too much. Like, I love music. Like, music even brighten up my day. Like, I'm having a rough day or mm -hmm. something like that. I just put on some music and just ride. Or I just put on some music in my little studio and just listen to it and just change my mood. Because music, without music, the world is boring. If you have a fucked up world, it's yeah. so boring need, without shit, music. You might have a dumbass, weak ass job and that song gonna be all right. Bet I need to listen to this particular song before I even walk through the door mm -hmm. just to get my shit right. Because if you don't, nigga, it's gonna be a bad day and shit. Like exactly. music gonna help you out with everything. You gotta think about niggas who prepare for a game, mm -hmm. niggas who go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Like you need music Like music is Is fucking life Yeah but, when I play basketball Volleyball I have my big old Beats on my ears Like this Like Yeah boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then it'll get me Ready for the game You gotta get for in sure. the mode You nah. gotta get in In the mode Walking around Laughing and joking That was so annoying Playing yeah. basketball Like Now you You saying how like This podcast They, gonna, they look And they wanna know you mm -hmm. So On you What's something That you feel You need to change Within yourself to bury your life or just like something you you feel like you need to eliminate or you need to a habit you may need to change just to be a better mm -hmm. person because with me i say i need to start procrastinating a lot of times i i say i'm gonna do something but then i, I bullshit yeah on procrastination it. is a lot but for the most part i'm more of a get up and go type of girl like i've always been like that like get mm -hmm. up and go oh let's shoot a video da -da -da -da. Oh, she's my must have said something. Yeah, <laughs> was it your live and shit? Yeah, she want me to do another freestyle, my sister. Oh shit, she mad. She she ain't satisfied. Yeah, she want me to do. <laughs> she probably want me to do something I wrote. Yeah, 
I'll do something I wrote. But, um. You forgot what you're talking about. <laughs> Procrastination. Procrastination. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> one thing I want to change, though, is, um. I don't know, like, how I am with others. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd be all in to some other people, mm -hmm. and I feel like they wouldn't be all in to me. Like, I got a couple of people that's like, yeah. ride, ride or die, ride and die, ride and die. Yeah, for sure. But I want to have more focus on myself. But then I want to also mm -hmm. push other people, too. No, for sure. Because a lot of people push me. I just want to be the one to push people. I want to be the motivation behind some stuff, like the inspiration behind some stuff on other people. For sure, for sure. Now, we, uh, you know what I'm saying, we getting down to the end. Mm -hmm. So we always do this thing called uh, Versus mm -hmm. Versus battle mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying I, I'm, I'm quite sure you know About the versus battle Yeah I give you uh, two people And you tell me Who you, you feel a win mm -hmm. Or two things Or whatever However it is mm -hmm. So first person First thing gonna be In person game Versus DM game So a person approaching you In person Or a, pro, a person Getting at you Through a DM Um Definitely in person DM is kind of like we we had a we talking about well, you see me in a club do you dm me oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like i saw you yeah, yeah. and it's like because that's because social media niggas don't know how to approach people they just more comfortable if you don't know how to approach me in yeah. real life you not gonna be able to approach me in the dm and yeah. think we're gonna meet up because that's yeah, weird you never know motherfuckers be shallow like that they be it be all good yeah so. i would like you to approach me in person make a vibe like sure. make a scene like oh Hey, we at the club. I buy you and your girls around the drinks. Or yeah. hey, we at the club. Y'all want to come chill in our booth? We chilling for a minute. Or we going to the after party? I don't know. Just conversation period. Because sure. I. Mm, yeah. mm, 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 All right, seafood versus soul food. Soul food. I don't eat soul. Uh, seafood. Oh. I don't eat seafood because my mom is allergic, so mm. I never brought up eating it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that I'm allergic because yeah. I'm sure I'm not. <laughs> yeah, just your mom. You ain't yeah. never really got into it. Summertime right. gear versus wintertime gear. Fall gear. Yeah. Okay, one time. Yeah. Well, but yeah. summertime is just so hard because then my hair gets sweaty. Then I know sometimes. Yeah. For the most part, I can dress. I take another shower and shit. Like. Yeah, I can dress. <laughs> I can dress how I want when it's cold. All right, rapping versus shooting videos. Rapping, making music. All right, text versus talking. I hate texting. I'm yeah. a good texter. Yeah. But I hate texting. I'd rather sit on the phone, get, have a conversation, because mm. one conversation leads to another conversation, to another conversation, and. Texting can be interpreted wrong. Yeah, oh, and I'm sure. interpreting wrong the first time. Hell it's yeah. like, no, yeah, I'm going to sure. give you the benefit, but no. I, for the most part, I would like to know what you're saying. All right, solid baby versus baby face. Um, equally, because they both different vibes. Like, baby face is more like a chill vibe, mm -hmm. but he's still a little turn up, and then solid like all the way turned up. Oh, so yeah, I would yeah. Say, all day, all day. No, no chill. Yeah, so we turning up, but then I like both. It's like yeah. an equal balance. Chilling the crib versus going out. Hmm. It depends. Yeah. If I've been chilling, I'm trying to get out. <laughs> yeah. But if I've been out, I'm about to be chilling. So it's like, uh, I'm gonna take the chilling. All right. Two more. The baby versus little baby. Little baby. The baby. Only reason. Okay. The baby. His music is like hot. Yeah. It's just the same. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's definitely the same. Everything. Tone. Cadence. Like. Like it's like mono. Like everything. I mean, he be saying some sweet stuff. He just. Says it the same For every sure. time. Last one. You say you got to the game. Call of Duty versus 2K. I got both of those. Okay. So, I like playing the, sh the Call of Duty because I can play with my people and talk my shit. Yeah. And in the game, basketball game, it's not fun because I'm an athlete. You still talk shit, though. I'm saying no Like on the headset Yeah And I'm talking stuff To my team <laughs> yeah, I yeah. can't be on the headset With my team oh, On yeah. basketball yeah. So it's not the Talk same Talk shit man I, I'm <laughs> just That's the only thing I play is 2K Oh you play 2K That's But 22 it. Yeah But I, I, I'm i gonna wait till uh, I'm gonna wait till uh, We get the new system Cause I got it for my son But I don't wanna I don't wanna I ain't wanna waste it On PlayStation 4 So I'm gonna wait till We get the he, he bring the 5 out And start playing it Oh yeah I stole my nephew PlayStation 5 <laughs> Keep 5 Now I know you young, but making the band. You ever heard of making the band? P Diddy had a show called Making the Band, mm -hmm. when he got five bandmates to make one album. Mm -hmm. So he had like what three rappers, a singer, and then you had this Jamaican artist or whatever, like Dylan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so you're making the band. If you had one album, you mm -hmm. plus four other people. It could be producers, rappers, singers. Mm -hmm. Who would be on your making the band album? Casey's making the band album. Her plus four people. 
You say like producers. It could be producers. It could be rappers, rappers or singers. Okay. But you plus four. Me plus four. Okay. So I need I need a beat. So I need somebody to make my beats, right? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And then I need somebody to engineer. And then I need someone to. It could be industry people. It could be city people in the, in the city. It could be whoever. It's your four your four bandmates. You can have shit all rappers and shit hell of a on the beat. But who your foe? Who your foe to go with you? Making a band, making one band. Yep. I need, I need beats for sure. I need, cause I'm gonna make a band only four people. Yeah, just you and four people. That's Kinda it. Not enough. Okay. You gotta um, make it. You gotta make to make it enough shit. You gotta make that. <laughs> Uh, this is crazy. I'm going to have... I'm going to think because once I say it, it's out there. Okay. Hopefully they're listening. <laughs> no, no, for real. Uh, okay. Oop, he just joined. That's so fucking crazy. Oh, the person you going to add just joined? What up, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to have... White Mike. What White Mike do? He rap, he sing? He's an engineer. All right. Smitty. Smitty, you're a legend. Who is he? He makes beats. Okay. He's an engineer. Okay, sure. so you got Smitty. And he's on some songs, too. Like you got Smitty, used. you got White Mike, and you got yourself. I got Trip. Okay. He's going to tell me if the shit is hot or not, and he's not going to sugarcoat shit. Oh. So them three for sure. And then now I need probably an artist, another artist. Because both of those are they rap. Okay, so you got some people that rap and make beats and engineer and yeah. shit. And they're all versatile. So them three, that's my team. And give me your and last then, but not least. My last but not least, I need an artist that's popping. Because we about to blow up. Yeah. I'm going to put, um, hmm. I'm going to put. Soldier Boy. Yeah, <laughs> that was your first favorite rapper. Uh, I'm gonna put. No, I'm gonna put. Uh, I want to say. I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna say. It's a pressure for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, because if I'm gonna make my band, I want to have my team, and then I want to have like somebody who just gonna take that shit to a whole nother level, huh? Cause I'm thinking mainstream, of yeah, course. Like, you know, I'm thinking like because on this part on the, on, the, on the part of the podcast, we gonna definitely play at what uh, that uh, <laughs> that Jeopardy I do. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, my mom and my sister saying YG because YG is my man. Like, don't nobody know this, but YG is my man. Oh yeah. Now, so, but that's not who I'm saying yeah, yet. Yeah. Now YG makes me mad a little bit though because when you come up with a classic album like his first one. I don't know what happened. I love my man, New Music. Nah, that first one was hard. Maybe he needed to just tie in with West Mustard, Coast. and that's it. Mm -mm. But yeah, that nigga, after that, I, I feel like he did like a drop-off. Like, each album got worse and worse. He's more of a single guy now. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Cause but, that, first, that first album was hard, though. Yeah, he... That first album was hard. He, but, he's still my man. So, I mean, it's anywho, still cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so, yo, I can't dig. Okay, I'm going to just go with... I'm going to go with Future. Future. All right, all right. That's cool. Because oh, yeah, Future, like, he like the meme of the whole... The and he, he, he going to be able to do your hooks? He going to be a rap? He going to do all that? Yeah, so we got Mike, Trip, Smitty, Future. And, and yourself. Casey. Yep. Yeah. Casey's making a band. Casey's making a band. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, uh, uh, before we get to the end, I'll give you a category. You give me your top three. Okay. Your top three childhood crushes. YG. Mm. YG and YG. I never had any crush. Just YG, huh? Yeah, that's uh, my only crush. All right, give me um yeah. All right, give me your uh, your top 3 uh top 3 TV shows. My wife and kids. Oh, that's a classic. Nigga be sleeping on wife. And Bernie Mac and Actually, two classes. Meet the Browns. Meet the Browns. I, ne I never fought with Meet the Browns. I like Meet the Browns. Yeah, I never, I never even watched it even know if I've messed with it or not. Yeah, Meet the Browns, he, he's funny. Yeah, now and I, then, like, yeah. Don't give, me your, give me your top three artists. Not rappers, singers, just artists. Like. Artists. 
Lee Flair. Okay. She was an artist. Okay. Clothing artist. Another artist. Um... And when I say artist, I mean like just not a category of rapper, singer, just in general. Artistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you say Lee Flair. And mm, I'm gonna say my mom. Okay. Don't nobody know, but she's like an artist, like okay. a painter artist. It's abstract. Her shit cold. Yeah. I'm gonna show you when we get off of here. All right. But um Lee. And then Lee and Lee Lee, because that's my mom and Lisa. And then Lee Flair. And another artist I like is Arts Nuts on Instagram. He makes like little cartoony things, but he's very artistic. And his brand is called Shoot Dope or We Sell Dope, but it's art. Yeah. All right. Give me your top three foods. Go to. My sister Macaroni. She makes is it brick macaroni. or is it creamy? Cause I don't like that macaroni you put on a spoon and just fall down like soup. Oh no, it's perfect. Okay. It's <laughs> like the a... it's the best macaroni yeah, in the world. Yeah, you gotta make um, them cheeses gotta marinate together real good. Yeah, she got a secret ingredient cheese that don't nobody know about. <laughs> or she got a secret ingredient something that yeah. I never tasted as a macaroni. All right, macaroni. Mm -hmm. And then we gotta have chicken. We talking about breast. food. Yeah. What do we say? Top three foods. Top three foods. Yeah, you said macaroni. No, scratch that. You you got me. Soul food. Yeah. Is the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got. What we got? Spaghetti. That's Italian food. Spaghetti good as hell. And then we got. Mexican food. Okay, spaghetti. Yeah, I gotta add some 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 sausages to my spaghetti, boy. I'm gonna be. Good. I made I made the best spaghetti hands down. I'm buying spaghetti mess with mine, dog. That's real talk. You never had it, dog. You gotta try it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta try it, dog. For real. Making it in the pot. Yeah. It's not the best. All right, well, kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to end it off. I know you got your mom and sister watching. I don't know yeah. if you want to talk about this, but a drunk moment or a high moment? Oh, okay. I told them this story. All right, um, they know I good. don't smoke or drink, but I did take a drink with my sister. All right. And now that's a cool thing. But um. So your high moment? High moment is when I was like little. Like I was probably like 15, 16, and I smoked with my cousin. And made me realize that smoking was not for me. Yeah. I smoked. And then I went in the room and I was sitting on the end of the bed. So when you high, your eyes get low. Like, they get heavy. So yeah, I'm sure. like, okay, but my eyes was closed. I'm thinking they just heavy. Yeah. So I'm in there. I'm thinking I'm asleep. Sitting up just like this. And my little cousin come over and tap me on my shoulder right here. Yeah. She run this way. So I don't see nobody. I just feel the tap. And I look. <laughs> she like, I'm, I'm like, try. okay. <laughs> I just, I just went back to sleep right here. Then I got a tap on this side. I looked and it was nobody there. It came back over here. I said, whoo, whoo. I jumped up out my seat and got scared. I'm like, oh my god, something's going on. Like somebody's here. And then she just went away and I didn't know what was going on. So this was really scary. So I'm thinking, oh, sh somebody here trying to get me. What's going on? I'm in my Ghost head. Paranoid, hallucinating, whatever. Yeah. I'm googling ways how to get unhigh. Like Damn. you're taking cold so shower. I took a cold shower. Yes, that should work. Cold shower work? No, I had to go to sleep. Oh shit! Yeah, but I... it's like, yeah, I had to go to sleep. I didn't understand. Then I woke my cousin up, like, girl, wake up. Her eyes just as red. I'm like, oh shit, we what? The... <laughs> Duh. Yeah, I told you, I, I had Ed boy, and I called this nigga and my brother oh, almost in that... tears. Mm -mm. Yeah, that shit make you. That shit scare you. It takes you to a different place. It's different than smoking. Like, oh yeah, for if sure. I rather smoke and try to control my high, just sitting there, like thinking, like, don't get high, don't get too high, don't think about high. You're not high <laughs> before I yeah, eat the edible. It, everybody who tell me about their edible stories, yeah. I just be like, oh my god. I'm about to make a Facebook status telling everybody I love them because I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, that's what and then I felt, they say. It's like blood in my head. Like my, it's like my head was going into my neck. Like, man, what the fuck? My baby toe was high. That's not how I was. Like, like bro, I, my wife was in the shower. I'm like, dog, I gotta go to the hospital. My brother smoked weed all the time. I call that nigga, like, damn near crying. Like, bro, like, well, I don't know what to do, man. I'm just too high. Yeah, my, my, like, that's too, it. I watched my bro. He had an edible, but like a gummy one. And he ate a little bit of it. He went upstairs. She can vouch for this. Uh, he went upstairs. And then, like, we, they were about to go out. Then he came back down, like, I ain't high. Yeah. This was only, like, a few minutes. Yeah. And came back down and ate the rest of the gummy. It's time for them to go out. He like, 
Baby, my, 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 oh, my yeah. heart not beating. Hell I'm yeah. about to die. And I was just like, Man. oh, my God. But it was just like, I saw that, and I was like, yeah, I'll never do that. Yeah, I got a four-year-old son. He was scaring me and shit. Like, I'm like, this nigga about to rob me. <laughs> Like, for real, that shit had me on a whole nother level. Like, oh, my goodness. I'm like, nigga, fuck this, man. For real, for real. So, tell people where they can find you, all that good stuff. How can they reach you? Music, all that good stuff you got going on. Okay, you can reach me on Instagram. I just made a Facebook, so I'm on Facebook, too. I don't know how to work it as much, but <laughs> I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'm on YouTube. All Casey Carter, C-A-C-Y Carter. I have... I have Apple Music, Spotify, but I'm going to get more in tune with posting my music. But next year, for sure, I'm going to be dropping a project. But if you want to just follow and just see, I post little cute pictures every now and then. So, for yeah, sure, for sure. Survive. You got any, you got any positive words you want to leave people off with? Live life to the fullest. Love. Love life to the fullest. Cherish the people that are in your life. Mm. Cause they'll be gone and then you won't be able to say the things that you want to say because you can't tell them once they're gone um follow your first mind follow your dreams stay positive and keep in mind that everything is a season so if you're going through it it's not it's not gonna last don't let hard times deter you from doing Things like, don't let hard times deter you from doing things that you feel like you should do. For sure. Facts. Yeah, that's a good way to end it off. Because motherfuckers don't be wanting to do nothing. They be too scared. <laughs> no, for real. No, they, no, for sure. They have, have, like, different fears from other people instilling them in them instead of yeah. doing what oh, they no. feel like that's a fact. should be. That's a fact. That's a fact. What? They say... They say leave with bars, bars, bars. All right, well, shit. Hey, you wanna... Do we have time? Yeah, we got time. There's always time for some, for some, for some good old rap music. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's your sister. Like, nigga, uh, she's, your sister on your head about yeah, that, Yeah, huh? my sister, her <laughs> friends. Um, I don't need a beat. All right, you ain't got to get no beat. Um, I just got to think now because now y'all making me go on my memory bank and my memory has been shot for a minute. Like, I've been trying to think of, like, remember you saw the times I'm like, well, what was we talking about? <laughs> we were talking about food, right? You silly, man. We were talking about food because I want to know. Yeah. Um, this is extended version, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> extended shot, shot style right here with yours only, Casey Carter. I be low key, you be off beat. I might had an off day, but you done had an off week. How dare you insult me? Life has been lovely for those who've been stalking. I ain't toast yet, cause I ain't toast to none. I've been on the coast, but I ain't coast to none. No, I do no coasting. I've just been living the life you've been posting. Caption, mood, action, view. Just imagine who you, Andrew Jackson, me. Blue, I took a couple wells back to back. They like how you do it. I just keep my faith strong. That's what keep me moving. Everybody on my phone asking about some music, but I ain't got not one text asking how I'm doing, huh? It's cool though, cause it's me. It wouldn't be the same if it was you though. I see right past it, nothing long lasting. Got up on my feelings cause I know life tragic. Hopped on a plane just to change the scenery. Put the ice in my chain, show how much she mean to me. Can you please stay in your lane? You can't be out seen with me. And I put it in the bank, it won't fit in skinny jeans. How you figure? I got my mom, got my dad, got my sister. If I throw it, she catching, I'm pitching. We moving that quiet like whispers. We whispering. I be low key, you be off beat. I might <laughs> had an off day, but you done had an off week. How dare you insult me? Life has been lovely for those who've been stalking. I ain't toast yet, cause I ain't toast to none. I've been on the coast, but I ain't coast to none. No, I do no coasting. I've just been living the life you've been posting. <laughs> Casey Carter, Casey got that card. Sister, yeah, sister said, sister said, no, rap some more, motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta go. Hell yeah, this episode ninety six, man. Ninety six. Get, getting close to the, to that hundred mark. It's you know gonna be an anniversary. Yeah, like, we're gonna you gotta do be a celebration. Yeah, it's gonna we we doing an all female panel with who got small businesses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna have a co-host, a uh, female co-host, and we gonna have like four entrepreneurs, uh, black females. So that's how I'm gonna celebrate it. Mm -hmm. And should we might get drunk. I don't know. 
But yeah, it's gonna be a party. It's yeah. gonna be a vibe. I'll be there. Yeah. yeah, I got work and shit, so I can't get too messed up. I got work that night, so. But no, mm-hmm. hundred episode on the way. Uh, shout out Casey Carter. Go ahead, make sure y'all follow her. She gonna drop that project next year, right? For next sure. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. day, every day. I'm dropping sure. it. Y'all yeah. better be on the lookout. So until next time, I ain't got no words for y'all to end it, but just stay black, stay healthy, and shit. Shit, stay safe out this motherfucker, man. Stay dangerous. Yeah, that first album, though. <laughs> <laughs>